Hey guys! Okay, so we've been gone for a long time because we've been working super hard on trying to start our own business. So updates on that coming soon. So what we're doing today is putting in our Maxair fan that we got. Yay! I'm very excited. So the first thing you have to do is figure out where you want your fan. We decided to put it here because it's somewhat centrally located, but also this is the part that we did the worst on the spray foam insulation. So it's the thinnest, so we don't feel bad about cutting it out. Yeah. So we found the center point between the ribs, drilled a hole through it so we can see where it's at up top. So let's go up on the roof. Okay, so here is the hole up through the top. So we're going to be measuring seven inches in all four directions so that we can get a 14 by 14 hole. What are you doing? I'm going to get the fan. So, we've got our hole marked out. how dirty the roof is. So ever since we got this fan, she's been wanting to do the honors of peeling off the plastic junk. Yeah. Did Burberry poop on it? Who's that? It's the center. Oh. <laughs> okay, now what? Let's make the fan work. Hey! So we got the fan all screwed on, sealed up with butyl tape and caulk and all that jazz. We don't have any solar set up yet and no batteries or anything like that. So we're temporarily hooking it up to the fuse block of the bus so that we can make it work because it's hot. Yeah. Thank you. 
great. I'm just gonna share this ground. So, this is not at all permanent, again. Don't judge. Um, we're just running the hot wire to the fuse block and ground it to give the fan power. It's supposed to have a five amp fuse on it, but we don't have any spare. So this is how we're doing. Or I just shared a ground with whatever this is. I have no idea what that is. Something that was added on the bus, apparently. It's time. It's time, it's time. <gasps> Yay! Jesus. It's supposed to do that. Do what? That's the, like, that's a small fan. It's pulling pretty hard. So. Our model came with a little remote and like, cool, came with a remote, but it's kind of a terrible design because <laughs> you have to be like pretty much directly under the fan for it to work. But that's whatever. what we've read on other reviews and that's what we've experienced so far. Yeah, whatever. It's not the end of the world. So let's turn this thing on. Did I turn it on? Yeah. You didn't. Hey, there we go. So now, if you come to the back of the bus and crack a window, it is like an immediate super nice breeze. Nice breeze! I will illustrate with a paper towel. Right now, it's blowing this thing. Pretty nice. You gonna slow the fan down? You mean slow it down or switch directions? Uh, just slow it down. So now she's gonna slow the fan down. And as you can see, not as much breeze. It's pulling air in at 50%. So it kind of sucked up to the window. Well, it it's pretty, it's stuck to the window. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Okay, so I think today was a very successful day. I'm, I'm pretty happy. I yeah. love the fan so far. We've had it running for like maybe 15 minutes, so I can't like really tell you that I love it, but so far I love it. All together, it took like four hours to put in-ish. Mm -hmm. Yay!